Rolls-Royce Cullinan, huge Rolls SUV spy testing. First spy shots of the Project Cullinan SUV have arrived, revealing more about the first Rolls-Royce SUV. The first spy shots of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan SUV have landed, a little over a week since the car was revealed wearing its tall-sided 4x4 body shape for the first time. While the official pictures released by Rolls last week were a quick peek at the huge, square 4x4, our spy pictures of the car undergoing public testing are much more revealing. The door handles reveal that the SUV will get rear-hinged suicide-style rear doors. We also get our first look at the car's rear end, revealing two large, square exhaust exits are embedded in the rear bumper. However, the back end of the car is heavily masked compared to the ghost-inspired face. Just after Christmas this development mule will travel north to take part in cold weather testing in the Arctic Circle. At the opposite end of the scale, it'll be also tested in extreme heat, traveling to the Middle East later on in 2017. Dubbed Project Cullinan and likely to use that name for production, this is the British luxury brand's first high-riding model. In its press release Rolls-Royce says that the Cullinan is officially set to be assessed on public roads in various locations around the world. The testing phase will ensure the SUV still delivers Rolls-Royce's trademark magic carpet ride on a variety of surfaces and that it is resilient to extreme weather conditions. Rolls-Royce confirmed development of an all-new aluminium architecture for the Cullinan earlier this year. The new platform will also eventually be used for a next-generation Phantom, and the announcement that production of the current model has stopped confirms this. An all-new suspension system is being primed for the production Cullinan 2, alongside the all-wheel drive system. Speaking to Auto Express at the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show, Rolls-Royce boss Torsten Muller at Vos revealed that the upcoming Rolls-Royce SUV would be launched in the first half of 2018. He was confident about the progress being made on developing the brand's first high-riding SUV model, although he prefers to call it an all-terrain vehicle. He also hinted that the newcomer will be called Cullinan, currently only the codename of the car it was named after the world's largest rough diamond. Asked if Rolls might adopt the name, Muller at Vos smiled and said, I love the name. And in a direct dig at Bentley, which is describing its new Bentayga as the best SUV in the world, he added, the Bentley SUV is clearly the number two, Rolls-Royce is the best in the world and will be when our model arrives. We will bring a great new car, and an authentic Rolls-Royce into the market. If the Bentayga's initial success is anything to go by, there's no doubt this could be the strongest selling Rolls-Royce in recent years, if not ever. But don't expect the brand to adopt a mass market pricing strategy, this is still very much a bespoke, handmade car and the price will definitely reflect that.